I am Groot. Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomic TV, and I've got here the last of the Marvel Legends Infinite series, the uh, first wave released for Guardians of the Galaxy. We're going to build a Groot figure. So stand by for a Guardians toy review. Now if you've been following my channel, and you better be, you would have seen uh, that I reviewed from this series uh, Star-Lord, uh, Rocket Raccoon, Drax, and Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy, the, you know, the main guys, except where's Groot? Well, they see the evil scheme that Hasbro and Marvel have is that you have to buy six of these figures, this first wave of Marvel Legends series. You've got to buy all six, let's say like about uh, $120, $130. You've got to get all of them, and then you can build the Groot figures. See, and there's a, uh, there's an arm and a leg in here. So what we've got here, uh, the last of this first wave, Marvel's Nova and Iron Man. And you're probably, well, what do these guys have to do with Guardians of the Galaxy? Well, well, actually, they're trying to say nothing, in fact, because here's a package for the Guardians figures. You see it comes with, it says Guardians of the Galaxy on the top. And then these two figures, they just say Marvel, as if they're from the Marvel comics, which they are. But there is a relationship to Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Okay. So, you ready to get a closer look? All right, come on. Okay, so here's a good look at the packages. Uh, we see Iron Man, Marvel Legends Iron Man, and uh, some nice line art on the side there of Iron Man. A different kind of armor. Why? We'll, we'll talk about that. And on the back, uh, it's got a little bit of a bio. It says, when Tony Stark teamed up with the Guardians of the Galaxy, he built a new suit of modular armor designed for extended missions in the blackness of space. When Iron Man teamed up with the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's right. That's right. He was with Guardians of the Galaxy. I will show you some proof later. And then you see here is uh, the lineup, the six characters in the series. And then you get all, you know, you get all six and then you can build a group. But I've heard that, uh, well, I, actually I believe I've seen in the small figures, the two and a half figure size figures, two and a half inch size, you can get a group. A lot cheaper than this, okay. And then finally, here's um, Marvel's Nova and uh, the line art on the side, very cool. And on the back, his bio says, Marvel's Nova, the Nova Force grants Richard Rider immense power, but without the stabilizing presence of the Xandrian world mind, it would also shatter his sanity. And this is one of these spaced out outer space characters, which Marvel is getting into in the movies now with Guardians of the Galaxy. And did you know uh, that uh, there's going to be a Doctor Strange movie in a couple years from Marvel? Okay, well, well, you ready to get these guys out of the box? All right, let's go. Right, so here's a look at a Nova out of the box. And uh, you can see there's no accessories, just the arm for Groot. I guess they know that if you're buying Nova and Iron Man, it's because you want Groot, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, here's a look at Iron Man. No accessories. Decent looking armor though. Let's get him out of the packages. So here's a close look at Nova. I guess he's also known as the human rocket, right? And I count no less than uh, 21 points of articulation. So it kind of makes up for not having accessories and uh, being a very poseable figure. He's got, the, he's got the double joints on the knees and the elbows. He's got the uh, rotating thigh thing, right? And he's got the rotating uh, upper arm bicep thing. And of course the uh, shoulders and thighs kind of thing. And oh, uh, 22, I didn't count that his trunk rotates some too. So that's, I think that's 22 I counted. And uh, that's all very cool. But with those, see with those double knees, you can really bend his leg up really good like that, you know. But of course he'll need a base. The don't, these guys don't come with a base. And he's got, he's got a fist action going. And he's really rocking these, uh, I would call them epaulets. Would you say these are epaulets or armor pieces or, sh or shoulder pads? It's like buying one of those suits with the pads on the uh, shoulders. Yeah, see, they, they go up and down like this. Look at that. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, up and down. Maybe they're like, I don't know, are they like air brakes or something? He's the human, the human rocket. Maybe he needs something to slow down sometimes. And uh, he's got these nice little armor, feature armor pieces on his knees there. 
And uh, look at his back, he's got that signature styling thing going. And of course the helmet, does the helmet come off? No. Nope, helmet does not come off. I'll give you a closer look here, see how close I can get. He does stand up well with these, because the, when they've got the ankles that articulate and they stands up like that really well, look at that. Yeah, I believe this is about as close as I can get and stay in focus. And you can see those uh, armor pieces on his shins. That's good for playing soccer. You ever play soccer and get, you know, get your shin kicked really bad? Yeah, I used to hate that. That's why I hated PE. <laughs> and, uh, oh, stand up there, come on. And then nice, nice detail on the belt and his chest. And that helmet, boy, that's some helmet with the little star on it. That's great. And, and look at the detail on his back. Little starburst. That's very cool. Nova. And so here's your Iron Man figure, and he's pretty much articulated the same way as Nova. He's got the double joints on the knees, and he's also got that trunk thing, so you can kind of do this kind of thing. And uh, his little armor things just came off here. Uh, I guess there's little peg holes for it, you see there. And uh, this is supposed to be his space, outer space armor for deep space missions. And uh, get back on there here. And uh, he's got the double joints on his elbows and uh, the, the shoulders rotate. I'll fix that later. And uh, okay, so watch those armor pieces. They come, they, the shoulder armor things come off kind of easy. He stands up, but if you want to bend them over, you're gonna need a, a base. Again, like the other, there's no base for these guys. And uh, he's got the, you see the repulsor things? Let's get a closer look at him. And so here's a better look at him. And you can see the double joints on the knees and uh, his thigh joints. And you can see he's got, one hand has the repulsor, what is that called, the repulsor firing thing? Or <laughs> just his repulsor beam? Uh, that's where the repulsor comes out. And the other one is just the fist. And you notice they get the repulsor action going. Iron Man's got to do that, that palm up thing. Kind of like Spider-Man. Did he get that bit from Spider-Man? Yeah, well. And then he's got, you see the, the signature uh, power plant, power pack in his chest, which keeps Tony Stark alive, but also provides the power for his suit. And then uh, the back, a uh, little bit of detail there but I don't see any extra jets or anything to help him fly. Now he's just, he doesn't have those little repulsor things on his, well, they're kind of molded in there, but they're not colored, you see them? His little jet, his little power things that help him fly, and then he's also got the peg holes, uh, but no base. Okay, so what's the relationship with these guys to Guardians of the Galaxy? I'll show you. Uh, Iron Man was in fact a member of the original Guardians of the Galaxy team back in 1969. You don't believe me? Look at this. It's a picture of that cover courtesy of Marvel, Marvel's uh, website. And you might say, well, what is Iron Man doing out there anyway? I, I, there's a, I'm sure there's a convoluted story. And if you guys know, please explain. But uh, in fact, uh, Iron Man back then, Iron Man, Spider-Man, they were hot, Fantastic Four. They were hot back then, and they're hot now. And so if you've got a new comic to launch, a good way to get it going would be to put a popular character in the cover. I, I, I don't mean to shatter your, your perceptions, but that's, that's a, a main reason why he would be on that, on that comic. Uh, he doesn't, apparently, uh, he's not in the newer version of Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, Nova, Interesting story on him. He's been around for a long time too. He was in, back in the late 60s, uh, this character was brought out. And in that time period, there was some relationship between Nova and the Guardians then, but I lost my link to it. I couldn't research all that. Uh, you guys, if you, anyone out there knows, uh, please put that in the comments. But the, here's a picture of him in the same armors in this character. And in fact, for the movie Guardians of the Galaxy, there was talk that he would appear in the movie. And he may have been, they say that he may have been in some of the uh, early versions of the script, but he was written out. So that may be why he was included in this series, because they've got to start these toys like eight months, a year before 
the movie comes out. So that may have happened, like they may have cut him out of the movie after they started making the toys. And at that point, uh, Hasbro probably said something not nice, but they went ahead with it anyway. So I will, so <laughs> poor Nova, but it may be in the future. They've got a lot of spacey stuff coming out. They've got uh, the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie will be out in a few years. And there's uh, apparently they've scheduled Doctor Strange, which is another one of these outer space characters. Uh, there's a movie for them coming out uh, as well. So let's talk about back to the original cast. So here's my Guardians figures. And here's the parts for Groot. Here's his head. Let's put Groot together. So here's my Groot figure. He snapped together pretty easy and uh, articulates well. He, st he certainly stands up easily because he's got these huge feet. Stumps. You can call him a stumpy, kind of a stumpy foot guy, but he's not so short. And uh, yeah, they put in, it's not like a cheap old little snap together thing. He's got these uh, articulating joints here and there. So you'd like to look at his feet. And his knees, you know, there's some limits because of the, the fact he's a tree. But, uh, you know, he can do stuff. And he's got shoulder joints, see? And elbow and hand, wrist. And you can kind of rotate his head around and uh, do that group talking thing. Here, here's a closer look. Yeah, he's got, like, massive legs. And, uh, but he has hands with fingers. And then, you know, these... Got these intertwining kind of branches and limbs. And then that goofy face of his. He gets a lot of expressions. He doesn't talk much in the movie, but uh, he certainly is expressive with his face. And there you can see his back. Whoop, whoop. Hey, stand up there, group. Come up. And, and notice he's not just all brown. He's got some green in him, too, because he does grow things. Things grow out of him, little limbs and things. Yeah. That's Groot. Now, you know, in the movie, uh, Groot is voiced by uh, the famous Vin Diesel of Triple X fame and, and the Fast and Furious franchise. Uh, but, you know, I mean, they, all he does is he says, like, one line through the whole movie. And, you know, I can do that. Here, I'll show you. Here's my Groot, all right? All right. I am Groot. I'm Groot. I'm Groot. Yeah, see, how I can do that, and you know, Vin Diesel probably made him pay him like a million dollars. They could have had me for a lot less than that. Yeah. All right. And here's a look at them all lined up, just like in that movie uh, promo poster. Here, I'll, I'll show you the movie poster. Does that look like the same? Yeah. What? Wait. Who's that guy? What's he doing there? Now I want to take a little time to go back to some stuff that I've learned after seeing the movie. First on Rocket Raccoon's weapon, uh, it's very movie authentic. Here's a look at it uh, in the figure, and uh, then I'm gonna put up a picture of him, and you see what's, you know, if you don't agree with me, that this is very much like, exactly like what he's shooting in the movie, which is pretty cool. Another thing I wanted to cover was this device that was included with Rocket Raccoon. Uh, after watching the movie, uh, I realized this was a weapon that Rocket put together in the film. And I believe he did fire uh, once or twice against a bad guy. Uh, but uh, in the also, but Star Lord also fired this. And he can hold it. Let's see if we can get him to hold it, the action figure. I want to give a shout out to YouTuber Discount Geek, who gave me a tip on how Star Lord uses this weapon. He's decided you put the gold part, this gold plate goes up. See, on this the other side, there's no gold plate. This goes up, and Star-Lord's going to reach in. Star-Lord's going to reach in here and grab these handles here. All right, well, let's watch and see. And you take off Star-Lord's knapsack so he can get it closer to his chest. And yeah, he can hold it. Look at that. What do you think? Now let's watch the video and see. Is this close to what the video looks like? One more thing, these things on Star-Lord's boots, they give him the ability to like jets. He can fly short distances only. Uh, when you see the movie, you will see that. 
And here's a headshot of each one comparing the action figure with the characters. There's Gamora. And here's uh, Star-Lord. And Rocket Raccoon. And Drax. And finally Groot. See what you think, see how well they did. So that's my look at the Guardians of the Galaxy action figures. The Marvel Legends series, but I'm not done. I'm not done. Look at this. I've got all the spaceships to talk about. All of them. I've got, I've got, oh, there goes, oh, there, I've got Rocket Raccoon with his rifle. I've got the weapons. Look at this. I got Rocket Raccoon's rifle. I got Star Lord's weapon. So you better hit that subscribe button. I call this Guardians Week, but it may take me a month to get through all this stuff. So until next time. Have a good day. No one I know is how to kill me. I guess I'm doing okay. I'm lost, I'm lost among the millions. Just an empty head filled with the sky. Between the boring